Reina Rebelde. I feel like this whole thing is gonna be a mood. Okay, now that we're all hyped. I don't have enough for a full face, but I have enough for like a cute eye look. We're gonna play today. Everything looks so different and like unique. And I really wanna give this a fair shot. Just some um, espalda story. I did find out about this brand when I was in LA. I found them at Target. And then the very next day I saw them at BeautyCon and I was like, Perra. The girl who helped me, I think her name was Stephanie. Well, I wanna play with this stuff. Okay, I really do. They had like a four for 40 deal. So everything was $10. And then I got one more thing and I got a bag deals 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 how do you say that in Spanish ofertas 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 it's been hotter than las tetas outside guys like it's calor but my skin has been so dry and I don't know why like I go to sleep with so much oil on my you know what it is light bulb o sea luces I've been running the AC all day and I never leave my house and then I come here and I run the AC and AC the recycle there basically dries your skin out guys honestly soy un genio so smart we're gonna start off v diferente today vamos a comenzar con nuestras pestañas no 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 nuestras cejas vamos a comenzar con nuestras cejas and i'm going to be using this rebel eye paint for brows also, their shade names, you guys, Las Tetas. Look at the packaging. Oh, God. Ooh, it smells like makeup. I know how to use a pomade. I've used pomades before in the past to do my eyebrows, but not in a minute. So if I look a little bit loquita right now, no, no voy a decir nada, okay? Like, no estén con sus chingaderas because, porque, like, I haven't done this ish in a while. I've been using pencils. So, vamos a agarrarnos las manos. Vamos a rezar nuestro padre nuestro. Y no vayan a decir nada. No, se, no vayan a ser groseras. Les parto su madre. Cool. Chido. Ooh. That was easy as pastel, but not a pastel de tres leches. Cause honestly, gross. Okay, Frida, no memes, no memes. That's actually not bad. When you first apply it, it's like, wow, boom. Perra, that's a pomade. But then you kind of blend it out and it ends up looking more like powdery. Let me remind you, like I said, I haven't used a pomade in a minute. Ya tengo rato. No juzguen. Honestly, I feel like you guys are judging. And judging is bad for your skin. Thank you. Okay, so pomades are not like riding a skateboard, I have found, because you do forget. Also, I never really learned how to ride a skateboard. So, we look real serious. Say yes. Estamos serias. You know what? We're gonna clean it up with some concealed hair. Y todo va a salir pero al cien. Todo al cien. Esto al cien. O sea, bien pipiris night. Todo. Mejor, mejor. Todo con amor. Todo con práctica. I'm just gonna go ahead and prime my eyes a little bit with this Milani concealer. Literally nothing escapes this concealer. I reviewed it. And ay Dios mío. Coverage la casa fam. How do you say dope in Spanish? Chido? No. Perrón. Orale perras. Should we do our eyes? Let's do our eyes. Ahora nos vamos a poner bien rebeldes. Did you guys ever watch that novela or show? Whatever the F it was. Rebelde? Me neither. I thought that show was the dumbest thing ever. But if you did watch it, no judgment. My sister watched it too. Pero que? Mira nomás. Mira nomás. Oh, these are pretty. And these are right up my... You know what? No. <gasps> Azteca. So I got mines in the shade Azteca. The one thing, however, is they're all very shimmery and I need like a transition shade. So I'm going to go ahead, grab this Colab Beauty uh, from Sally's little palette. I'm going to grab this little number and that's going to be like our transition shade. And then we're going to go into this and it's going to be a great, going to be a great time. También aquí. No van a salir con sus mamadas y no más a un lado. O si lo van a hacer en un lado, también háganlo en el otro lado. No chinguen. Les tengo que decir todo. Ok, 
Okay, we are transitioned to the max. I really like this brown, so I'm gonna go ahead and place this all over my lid, and then we are going to deepen it up with Homegirl over here. As I said, these are all shims, which could be a good thing or a bad thing. However, I prefer a palette to come with like a mixture, like I like a matte and I like a shimmer. Tu me entiendes? And this doesn't have that, but you know what? It's okay, because these palettes have their places too as well, and we're just gonna use it regardless, because you know what? We're here to review, we're here to test, we're here to do all that. And my neck hurts real bad. Now she did say this could be used wet or dry. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this dry at first. And then we're gonna, you know, we're gonna try songs it. Like I said, I'm gonna go into this guy right here now just to deepen up this look. This one is quite pigmented, also not a lot of fallout in the least. I'm gonna go ahead and now try these eyeliners. So I bought a couple. She sold me on both of them, honestly. Like I said, the girl who was helping me, super sweet, but damn, is she good at her job? She legit like sold me on both of these eyeliners. I don't even wear liquid eyeliner that much as she sold me. So she sold me on this gorgeous, gorgeous blue one. I kind of want to do blue eyeliner. Is that weird? So we got Zapatista and Bonita Bandera. The sound of my people. The thing about me and eyeliner though, guys, is I have to be like real up in this hoe to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and do it off camera and then I'll be right back. All right, remember judging is bad for your skin, first of all. This one is really good. I went ahead and used Bonita Bandera, which is a blue one, and it's really pretty. It worked out really well. It was easy to use again it's not the most pigmented blue but it's good like it did the job i really like the applicator muy chido ya regresamos con la rosa de guadalupe Okay, basically everything is done. Now we just gotta go on to lips. For lips, I do have a lip option, which I'm pretty excited about. So this is the re, re, un segundo. This is the Reina Rebelde Alma Desnuda Bold Lip Color. This I really like. It's a really pretty like pinky nude. So this I got in my boxy charm. This is the Steve Laurent lip liner. Uh, it's very brown. we we might look a little chola today. Um, but given the theme, está bien. That is a lip combo for the ages, fam. Basic bitch meets huevos, fam. Look at that. Wow. That is so pretty, and that went on like butter. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I like a glossy finish. So I am just gonna top this with a little bit of a nude gloss. This is the KKW nude gloss. And just hit up the center. Y eso es todo, familia. Eso es todo. This idea might mess up the entire makeup look, but you know what? You mustn't be afraid to dream a little bigger, darling. missing is my hoop earrings i swear that one day i don't wear my big hoops la riego i swear me mancho the one day i didn't wear my hoop earrings all right guys well my entire face is done now quick little rundown on all the products i think my favorite thing that i tried today was probably the lip color the lip color they nailed it the eyeliners are fun the pomade like i mentioned it's, it's just it's not like riding a skateboard i forgot how to do this but la maraneta like this is a really good good pomade i actually really like it i think it's lined everything beautifully and the way the consistency is and the pigment all of it it flowed really well the eyeshadows were pretty good too like i said they're not the best eyeshadows i've ever tried but they're not bad and this is a cute little compact just to travel with because you have like your basic colors packaging las tetas other than that guys i like it i gotta go though because i do gotta empty out my pee pouch also quiero un café quiero un café con leche